Okay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. You are welcome to the program. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning to some of you, according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland, Radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land, where I am broadcasting from, I remain the fearless IPB evangelist Imazi Malam I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is now an area. An area is a local government in Nigeria province of Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. Nam Dikani is our leader. And he is still incarcerated in TSS solitary confinement. Illegally detained. Thank you. Share it very, very wide. Share it very, very wide. So, we continue. Mazen Amdekano's case started under the regime of Buare. I am trying to share this program widely. That's what I'm doing here on my phone. Thank you. Mazen Amdekano's case started with Buhari's government and today Mazenam Khan have defeated Buhari's government. The Buhari's government is of the north, Northern Fulani, first of all, arrested Mazenam Khan in Motlam Mohammed Airport. Mazenam Khan defeated them and at the end they granted him high conditional bail. This message is to the Yoruba people and the entire Nigerians that love truth, those that believe in Nigeria, after all. Thank you. Now, Mazenam Khan defeated the Buhari's government, and the Buhari's government ended up in granting Mazenam Khan high conditional bail, and went to his house to kill him in Afaruku by sending the army in the name of Python Dance. Mazinam the Khan escaped military assassination attempt. Reaching in 2021, the same Buhari's government from Fulani North, Northern Nigeria, they went to Kenya and kidnapped Mazinam the Khan. And they brought him here as runary rendition, despite the torture. They forced Nam Khan to court. At the end, Mazinam Khan was discharged and acquitted. Let me start from 2015. The first judge that presided over the case of Mazinam Khan was a Yoruba man. Honorable Justice Ademola of the Federal High Court, Abuja. He was the first judge to preside over the case of Mazinam Khan, and on the 17th of December 2015, Honorable Justice Admiral of the Federal High Court Abuja discharged Mazenam Khan unconditionally. This message is to Yoruba people in case they thought we don't know what we are doing. We know that the battle has changed hand. And we know that it has shifted from those who boasted they would crush Biafra, crush Nam Khan. So Yoruba people should not pretend. They should do the needful because history should not be allowed to repeat itself. Because this time around, we will not allow the history to repeat. Rather, we all jump with the history that you will allow itself to repeat because we will not allow those who will, who will allow calamity upon us to exist freely. It will be a generational message because as 20 pounds is still a wound, that we know that Yoruba people wounded us through their Awolowo, though Gowan killed us, but at the end, they positioned the Yoruba man, 
they also positioned our fellow dear friends in the other side, they call rivers, to declare abandoned property. They also positioned the Yoruba people through our logo to give us 20 pounds, though they have tried to deny it, but we are reminding them that it's a wound that has lasted 50 something years now. And our children knew it, and you can never explain to them than what we told them. What we are saying, what they will tell you is what we told them, and that's what they believe. You cannot tell them another thing. Awolowo gave us 20 pounds. Please, Awolowo, a Yoruba man. True of us, that is the truth. Then, this time around, is in Namdekan. Buhari started it, the Northern started it, it has ended. And now, the Yorubas, again, the North have shifted this matter to the Yoruba again. And will the Yoruba be wise this time around? Is a question. Will they be wise this time around? Because Ojuku freed, Ojuku freed Awolowo from Calabar prison. Will the Yoruba be wise this time around? President is a Yoruba man. Tinubu, Chief Judge is a Yoruba woman. Kudirat Kekere. Atom General is a Yoruba man. What is his name? Fabuemi. The what is another one? DSS Director General is a Yoruba man. What is his name? Adeola. Adeola, somebody, right? These are Yoruba people. These are the people now presiding over Namdekanu's case. We have not come to those that kidnap him. Those that will come for them are dead. But we are talking about those that are in charge of incarceration of Namdekanu presently now. Not Nigerian government because there have never been a Nigerian president. Tinubu Buari was there. He wasn't Nigerian president. He was a Fulani Nigerian, Northern president. Tinubu have come now. He is now a Yoruba, Nigerian, Yoruba president in the name of Nigeria. Show me one Nigerian president. It is always tribal president. Currently, you can see it on the screen. But will they do something better with it? No. Maybe they are recruiting to do something worse. That is why they are looking for people who can do it for them. But at this, from this message, we are telling them that IPOB have come to stay and restore Biafra. We cannot go back. But from what is on my screen now, the Yoruba people are now presiding over the illegal detention of Fondamdekan and his incarceration. That is the message. It's unchangeable. They can change it by taking the positive action. The Fulani played safe, but they are not safe. So Yoruba should not make Fulani to be smart and fall victim. As the 20 pounds becomes a generational wound on our body, which we always tell our children, you can also destroy it now because the case of Nam de Kano, it will be a generational also history. It's a generational history to our children. How Yoruba people freed Nam de Kano, or how Yoruba people, after Nam de Kano defeated the Northern people, presided over by the Fulani, they handed him over to Yoruba people to join him or to kill him. After the Fulani Nigerian state have poisoned the Namdekano, tortured him, they have handed him over to Tinubu to see if Namdekano can die in the hand of the Yoruba. This is a message to them. The Yoruba should be wise. The Fulani have poisoned Namdekano. The Fulani have tortured Namdekano. The Fulani have done so many things. There is nothing like Nigeria. What they are ruling here is tribal president. There is nothing like one Nigeria. No Nigerian president ever. No Nigerian president. If Buhari was a Nigerian president, why was his tribe, Fulani, killing people in communities? So he was not Nigerian president. He was only ruling Fulani then. So that's why Fulani have authority to massacre people. There have been mass burial in different communities in Nigeria. So Tinubu, uh, Buhari have never ruled Nigeria. He was Fulani president. Show me one Nigerian president. Show me from their appointment. Show us one Nigerian president. There have never been a Nigerian president. It's always our turn. The North is in power. The Yoruba is in power. 
hey, we are not an we are in charge. We are IG of police. Nobody have said Nigerian is the IG of police. Nobody have said a Nigerian is a president. Nobody have said a Nigerian is army chief. No, it's always a Northerner is the army chief. Hey, is a Yoruba man army chief? Hey, they are not, that is the foundation of Nigeria. And that is why we demand for referendum to decide if we can continue with such mess that nobody will ever say I am a Nigerian. When Peter B came up, they say he's Igbo. When Tinubu come up, they say he's Yoruba. I have never seen a, Euro, a Nigerian president. Is that how they do it in America? The answer is no. So we continue. It is in the hand of the Yoruba to free themselves from the mess of the Fulani so that Fulani will carry their mess. Tinubu is presiding over the presidency, which is the town of Yoruba, that is Yoruba presidency. And the Mazinam Khan have defeated the Buhari's government through and, um, the first court was Honorable Justice Tadimola of the Federal High Court, who discharged Mazinam Khan unconditionally. Mm -hmm. Mazinam Khan unconditionally, and the DSS disobeyed. Then John Soho discharged Mazinam Khan, DSS disobeyed. Ahmed Mohammed, a Fulani man, told DSS to obey the two court rulings. They disobeyed. Bin Tanyaku ended up in granting Mazinam Khan bail after secret trial failed. Now, Nigeria also went against the bail by going to the house of Mazinam Khan to kill him. Do you understand? When they carry on this action, they have no, there was no ESN. Nothing. In case they would try to turn it, there was no ESN in 2017. After all, so there was no provocation, there was nothing just that Muslim can defeat them. Nobody can say this is what IPOB do, that's why that IPOB raised gun or this. No, nothing, there was nothing like ESN 2017. So, what warranted to the invasion of Muslim the Kana South? That is because he defeated them. So, let us come now. When he was now from Kenya 2021. Several court judgment rulings have been on the favor of Mazram Kano. Both appeal court judgment discharged and acquitted. Let us just say that Tinubu accepted it, accepted Nam Kano to remain in detention because he wants to contest election. Yes. Now I ask, have election not ended? Because Tinubu was aware that Nam Kano had been discharged and acquitted. So why do we prefer continuous? Detention of Nam Khan. Why do you prefer to continue a case that have ended? Now he have used Yoruba people as usual in Nigeria to run himself up. And what I have presented here is not all the Yorubas that have been appointed, but the Yorubas that are related to the case of Mazinam de Kano, the president, the attorney general, the chief judge, and director general of DSS. They are all Yorubas. And they are the people presiding over the illegal detention of Namibia currently, presently, and Fulani should not play safe. It's only the Yoruba that will make Fulani to play as if they are smart. They are not smart. The Yoruba should dodge this trap. Fulani may have uh, Fulani have poisoned Namibia. Fulani have tortured Namibia. Fulani have wounded the Namibia. Fulani have put Namibia in a very serious state. Right? Fulani have denied the Namdekano access to his doctors. Fulani Nigerian government have denied the Namdekano so many court judgments. Now, will it, the attitude of Yoruba now will show us if the Yoruba have been the supporter of this crime, crime using the power of Nigeria to commit against Namdekano. It has been a crime of eight years, and Tunubu is practicing that of one year. Buhari's government committed crime against Namdekano. At the end, they committed a serious terrorism against Namdekano by going to Kenya and kidnapping him. Then, why is Yoruba people positioning to continue to uh, detain Namdekano illegally? This is a time for them to act wise. Go on, one, use Yoruba to play safe. Why will you allow the Kabas to use you and play safe? Why? Why will you allow the Kabas to use you, Tinubu, and play safe again? Go on, massacred us for three years and later handed our finance over to Awodogo. And today, both we and our children will never remove that from the history until you can make attempt to change it. Because why we cannot remove it is because we also freed Awodogo from Calabar prison. 
So what actually warranted Awolowo to seize our money and give us 20 pounds when Ojuku freed Awolowo from Calabar prison? We want to know. We want to know. So if we have offended Awolowo, we will not remember the 50 pounds. But we freed Awolowo and he turned around and he seized our money after Gowan have killed us. Then we asked, why is Sinubu accepting this one that Fulani have poisoned Mazen Amdikano and they left him and the Yoruba people are rounding up? I pray that their rounding up should be for positive action because there is no other action that any Nigerian government can take than to free Namdekano. There is nothing that will move because you can never get anything good in Nigeria because Namdekano is not an ordinary person that you carry on injustices against him and you have peace in your country is impossible. Human beings are not the same. People thought that everybody are the same. No, everybody is not the same. It's not the same. There are people that discover plastic. There are people that discover razor blade. There are people that invented spoon. There are people that invented matches. There are people, it's an ind people that was blessed to invent zinc, to invent electric bulb, Thomas Edison. It doesn't matter who you are. You were not called to do that. You were not created to do that. These are special people on earth. You cannot compare yourself with them. There are people that manufacture vehicles. There are people that manufacture, they invented food. People invented plane. You are not the same with them. These are different people. So the same thing with other areas of life. Mazinam is a different person. You don't compare him with your Yoruba pastors that have been Muslim before. Then they now see money in Christian. They now know that Christians of Nigeria can be fooled. Then they become Christian pastors. Those your Yoruba people, Kumui and all of them, you are using to compare. Mazen Namdekano as a prophet is not the same. These people cannot be compared. So if that is the case, then you are deceiving yourself because Mazen Namdekano is a different person. A different person and with the full force. He will clear all the roads. So what this message is a very short program because I have written it, uh, a short article on this. And that is why I present it on a video, live broadcast, that the message will keep going. The message will keep going and is also a key to our people to know where the battle is. Yoruba people should come together and discuss because the Fulani have hanged this on their neck. Don't just say it's a Nigerian law constitution. Don't say we are doing with him with the Nigerian constitution. Fulani have used Nigerian constitution. It didn't work. Namdekan is undefeatable. It doesn't matter the conspiracy. Nobody should be appointed like the chief judge, Kekere. You are the one who put hope on them. Kekere, isn't it? Uh, the chief justice. You are the one who presided over us on the markets. It's not the same with Master Namdekan. Go and ask Bin Tanyaku. Go and ask all of them. Go and ask uh, John Soho. Go and ask everybody that have involved, all the judges involved in Namdekanu's case. It's not easy. You are the one who made, put him state in this mess. Nigerian Chief Justice, this woman. Can't you correct it now? Or will you continue to be evil? Because you committed evil against the people of Imo. The truth must be told. While this is not begging brokers, this is alerting the Yoruba that our history can never change unless they try to play safe. Because Fulani cannot play smart. They can change the history now by positioning well through Tinubu's government. Because the wound of 54 years by Awolowo is still there, 20 pounds from 1970. Till now it is 54 years. Then will Yoruba still be in position and give us another wound that will be unforgettable? This is something they should think. If 54, if after 54 years, we are still telling our children about Awolowo's attitude to our finance, what do you think that will happen to Namdekano's story or history to our people? Even 5,000 years, it will still be going and the war continues. The war will be tribal war. So nobody should allow it. It will be tribal everywhere. Tribal. We will fight all around because we remain, we kept nothing. Without an American, we have nothing. So we we'll fight all around. We have nothing to save. This is a message you must understand because this is Namdekan is the only thing God have given to us after Nigeria have taken our resources. Nobody should joke with it. 
It is not political. It is not anything. Don't say that is your post. Don't say that you're not at anyhow. Don't say the case of Unamkan have ended is not something of constitution because constitution established a peak court. It is not something of constitution. The constitution has taken its place. And don't come to turn it. Don't say this or that because Namdi Kano have been poisoned by Fulani. Namdi Kano have been tortured by Fulani. Namdi Kano have been put in a state of, um, that is, a very serious health condition. Fulani have denied the Namkan access to his doctors. So will the Yoruba allow this to happen? Because Fulani want to play smart. Yoruba people should not see this as a Nigerian issue. It is now turning to tribal issue. And they should not allow it because we have defeated the Fulani in Nigeria. We have never seen a Nigerian president. Nobody should come and tell us that Tinubu is Nigerian president. No. Tinubu is the Yoruba president. Tinubu is the Yoruba president. That's why PW was avoided. They see him as Igbo president. Buari was there as a northern Fulani president. There have never been a Nigerian president. That is a very certain. And nobody should try to turn it that Tinubu is working on that Nigeria. It's a lie. Tinubu is representing Yoruba people. There have never been a Nigerian president. And Yoruba people should take their stand and run away from this very trap that Fulani set for them. Fulani want to play safe. Fulani want to become good. Fulani will bribe the media also to start targeting it on Yoruba people. As it stands now, as they are being, you are sacking them, Tinubu, though they call it resign. As you are sacking them, make sure that you have good thing in mind because it is not going to go down like 1970. It's impossible. It's impossible. 20 pounds is different with the Mazinam Kano's life. Our money in the bank cannot be compared with the Mazinam Kano's life. Our pounds that Awolo will seize, don't refer it to Mazinam Kano's life. This time around, you should allow Fulani to carry their corpse. This time around, Yoruba should wash their hands and clean it off. Free Mazin Namdi Kano, because don't tell me you are holding him under Nigerian constitution. Nigeria has no constitution to hold Namdi Kano. If Nigeria has any constitution, they will first of all obey the order of their constitution, which was ruled by the court, which was established by the constitution. And the court was also given the, gave the judgment through the constitution. So which constitution will you present to us when a constitution has taken position and was disobeyed? So the best thing is to run away from the tribal issue. Those that are wise should talk to them because it is now Yoruba presiding over Namdekano's case. It is now Yoruba presiding over Namdekano's illegal detention. It is now Yoruba presiding over Namdekano's incarceration. It is not talk, we are not talking about only Tinubu. We are talking about those that are in the position concerning case matter in Nigeria. We are not talking about other Yoruba that are in other position. No, we are talking about President of Nigeria, Chief Justice of Nigeria, Kudirat. We are talking about Kekere. We are talking about Attorney General of Nigeria, right? Um, I, 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 um, what is his name? Fabemi. We are talking about Director General of DSS. What is his name? Ade, Ade, what is his name? I, I forgot his name. He's here, his picture is here. Right? His picture is here. So it is now Yoruba people, these are people in charge of case. Attorney General is the one prosecuting them, they come. Chief Justice are the people that um that that will decide. The government president will call Chief Justice and Attorney General. Director General of DSS are the people keeping Namdekan in illegal detention. So these are the people holding Namdekan, and the Namdekan we are talking about. Nigerian court have freed him. So we are letting our people know the people that is now trying to accept the trap that Fulani set for them. Fulani have committed so many crimes against the people of the East, especially if the regime of Buhari. If Yoruba supported them, they should also disappoint them, disappoint them now. If Yoruba supported them in the massacre of IPOB members, in the version of Namdekano's house, in Obibo massacre, and tagging IPOB and SARS, 
that happened, started from Mugere and ended up in Lagos. In all this blackmail, in all this massacring of IPOB, if Yoruba have been supporting them, they should instant themselves now by playing safe and freeing Namdekano. If Fulani want to kill Namdekano, let them come and take him if Tunipu government free him. It is no longer Nigerian president, it is no longer Nigerian government, it is now Tinubu Buhari's government. You can see their pictures here. So that is tribal president. I have been saying this that there have never been a Nigerian president. Show me one. Is it Afa Belewa, a prime minister? No. He was representing the North. Tell me, show me one. There has never been a Nigerian president. Show me a president that will win, and every Nigeria will say we win. No. There have never been such. If somebody win, Yoruba will say we win. If Tinu when Tinubu won, only Yoruba was celebrating. We won. Isn't it? Did the Nigerian celebrate? No. So he is a Yoruba president. Thank you. We want our people to be following issues accordingly. Continue, make sure you fix up in this case we are doing. If we are fighting battle in the field, shooting gun, they will also be changing commanders. Our people should know that these are commanders they have changed. These are new, new commanders that are leading the war for Nigeria, eh, for the Yoruba people. Though they use Nigeria to fight us, right? Now, you can see Tinubu have appointed Yoruba commanders. If this is battlefield, we are shooting gun. This is how they will appoint Yoruba commanders. Are you understanding? So, what we are passing to them is that we are not begging anybody. But we are trying to tell them that we are following up the matter. We know what is happening. If we cannot forget what our father told us about 20 pounds, if after the Yoruba people have tried to analyze, tried to change our mindset from what our father told us, they have used their media, they have used so many individuals to tell us that um, Awolowo did not give us 20 pounds. But that becomes rubbish because our children know the story. If we that our children can know the story, our children also know the story. They will tell their children, this is 54 years now of giving us 20 pounds. And it is still a fresh wound on our body. Will the Yoruba heal this wound by freeing in Namdekam so that everybody will go babash because we have done good to them. After all, Ujugu freed Awolowo. Awolowo paid us back by seizing our money. Will the Tinubu change it because history can still, somebody can still amend things and history will not repeat itself. But this time around, whether it repeats itself or not, IPOB have come here to hunt every of our enemies down. Whether it will go by tribal, whether it will go by ethnicity, whether it will go by anybody involved who will fight that person. Any tribe involved will fight that tribe. Any country involved will fight that uh, country. Any individual involved will fight that individual. Nobody will escape this because our endurance is much and we cannot endure and later forget all these things. People should take positive positions at this point in time. Tinubu, there is no Buhari. There is no Abakiare. There is no Mamanga Daura. There is no Galuba Shew. There is no Lai Muhammad. There is no um, Femi Adesina. There is no all these cabals in now. You are now in position, though Tunubu, you was there from the one, both incarceration of Namgam, both his kidnapping, both disobedient to court order. Let us just say you accepted disobedient to court order because you thought it would affect your election. Now, have the election not ended? Let us just say you are appointing people now for positive action. Maybe the DG of DSS is disobeying your order. Let us just take it like that. But this message is just a reminder that we are people of history. We keep history and you should not double it. 
it is, you will not double it. The only history you can keep doubling is good history. If a wolo wo history is not good to present our children, you can correct it with free, by freeing in Namdekano. We talk about a wolo wo's action against our people because we did good to a wolo wo. Ojuku freed a wolo wo. It's not up to three years a wolo wo betrayed us. Not just betrayal. He tried to make us die. After we faced Ireland as he blockaded upon the Wachoko, Awolowo accepted that policy and he carried it, on, carried it on us. So do you think it can be forgotten by mere story? No. It will be forgotten with action. Which action? Now that the Fulani have tried to jail Namkanu or kill him, everything ended, stop IPOB, it has ended. There is nothing you can do to IPOB Namdekanu ESN. Now, and they have dumped Namdekanu for Yoruba people. They have poisoned Namdekanu. They have denied him access to doctor. They have done so many wrong to Namdekanu and they left him for Yoruba people. Why can't Yoruba people be wise this time around? Why can't Yoruba people be wise and not play? As Gowan used Awolowo, will you like Buaris Kaba to use Tinubu's government? That is a question, and I will no longer program, prolong the program. This is what I have come to give to the Yoruba people and to Nigerians and those that are closer to Tinubu to talk to them and know that IPOB have come. And the only thing we need is referendum. We are not going to go back and we are not going to stop. Keeping Namdekan in illegal detention cannot stop us. If killings of IPOB by Tinubu cannot, by Buari cannot stop us, then tell us what else that will stop us. So that is what we are trying to let you know that Mas Namdekan is our leader and is our savior and is the only thing left for us after Nigeria and the British have stolen our resources God gave to us. The only thing that came when we were about to die is Mazinam the Kano. Through Mazinam the Kano, we got IPOB. Through IPOB, we got ESN. And we go nowhere until we get Biafra. Nobody can stop us, and that is where we are heading to. Nobody should misuse opportunity like this one Yoruba have to settle their matters that have lasted 54 years with the people of the East. The taking of our money, 20 pounds, can be healed that wound. Giving us 20 pounds, can, the wound can be healed with freedom of Namdekan because all, Yoruba have no excuse now. They are in position. They will not say Nigeria holding him, Nigerian constitution, Nigeria government. No, Nigeria is not holding Namdekan, though Nigerian state is holding him. But we know what we are saying in this program. This message is to Yoruba people, so people should know what we are saying. No Nigerian government will go free, but the Yoruba people should play safe and save their tribe from this matter. Then let us face those that we have issue with, because we are not going to forget or to forgive anyone. People can play better when the fathers have made mistake. If a woman will make mistake, thinking it will not go down in history, then Tinubu can correct it because the history of Ujuku is still there, untouched. He freed Awolowo. It has no corruption there. You cannot bring anything to defeat this position of Ujuku. Now, than to free Namdekano, it will now be one one. And to free Namdekano is to at least to heal that wound. If our children talk about 20 pounds, we we'll tell them that battle. Uh, Tinubu settled the matter by freeing Namdekano. When Fulani kidnapped him, tried to kill him, tried to jail him, it fell. So it was Yoruba man that later free him. Simple. Simple and short. Correct the history. Don't allow it to linger again. Thank you. Do you understand? Don't allow this thing to linger. Take the action now. If this changes is for good, it must start from Mazin Abdekano. If this changes of positions is for good, Tinubu, it will start from Mazin Abdekano because these people are in the position of Free Abdekano from President of Chief Judge, Chief Judge Attorney General. Attorney General have the every right to discharge any case from his honorable office, both Attorney General of the State, both Attorney General of the Federation. So, 
it is in their hand. The president is there to direct Attorney General to cancel every charges against Nam de Kano. It is called no case to answer. No case to answer. That is it. Final, final. The constitution said that the Attorney General have his lordship, have every right to discharge any case from his honorable office. And look at here now, these four people, Tinubu, Chief Judge, Attorney General, and Director General of DSS. They are the people here. They are the people who didn't name the Kano. Currently, we know those that kidnap him. Then Tinubu can free his tribe. Understand how this battle is going. Free your tribe. Let us hold our offenders. Free your tribe. Full anyone to instigate you, the Yoruba people, with us. Look at where they fix us before this program and let me show you. You know, some of you don't know. They make they told even on your plate number, they told you that you are closer to the east. You are to get you are closer. But they keep dragging you as the middleman. And your is the reason Nigeria is still existing. But let me just show you a little bit. If you are Yoruba man, just see see your position. Now this is a northern. This is Tapua Belewa. Right? I want to show you that you are claiming, hey, Nigeria is our own. This is Tafa Belewa here. Look at him with his cartolary stick. This is motto plate number one. Now, this is our logo. This is Namda Zikiwe. Now, I want you to consider the two, the space here. Consider the space between our logo and uh, uh, Zik. Look at Zik at the back. Look at our logo. Now, look at Tafa Belewa going to Oye Well. Look at Oye Well. Look at where they are cooking now. You know, you, uh, uh, you drive vehicle, you don't know this thing. Uh -huh. uh, but we will teach you. That's why we are fighting for Biafra. We know all these things. We are complete. So now, if you will leave somebody that is closer to you, right? You will be trying to please this man that is even leading you with the cattle iron stick. The Nottana is leading you with cartoon stick. Look at the stick on his hand of Tafua below. Look at that stick. Look at it there. Look at it very well. Look at it. Look at his hand. Look at it. Look at it. Now, all of you are cows. Upon that, he gave you big space. So, who do you want to please? Do you see where they kept Osibanjo? Do you see where they kept him then? He was a vice president. Now, you eventually, you are here now, right? Why can't you place it? Because this is your position. Here is not your position. This is the position of the North. This is the position of the Europe. This is the position of the East. Now, compare the two space. This is space between Europe and the East. Now, look at the space between the North and the West. Now, consider who should be good, who should be friend to each other. Consider it. Now you know. Now you know why POP. We came with different weapons of truth. All the weapon channels to truth. Simple. We fight. I ain't I am what I are there. Use another thing. Law. Anywhere we reach, our God will supply us. We are not holding anything at hand. That's what confuses our children, our enemies. Hey, where is your gun? Uh, what are you to do? Come and defeat us now. No way. And you still ask me for gun. When you that have gun have not defeated me, that does not have gun. You still have the mind to ask me for gun. So if you cannot defeat somebody without gun, when you have gun, you want me to bring gun. If I bring gun, bring out gun, what will happen to you? mad people and that is where i'll be bringing the program to an end share it very very wide from me fearless ipb evangelist Maze, Mara Chumachuku, and from here our homeland radio biafra it is good evening it is good evening thank you